Hello guys, this is Fernando the Vintage Collector 2000 live on the Rotopers group, and I'm back. I'm back for, I'm back. Welcome to part two. This is the collection in part two. Hello again, that Toy Vico guy 9000. I just came back from shopping at the mall. I didn't buy anything, but today I was the mall and I went to the Burlington Co Factory and I saw the 2017 Rush and Rescue Ambulance. It looks it looked like this. Oh, one person left. Sad. Anyways. Here's this one. So this is my Road Rippers uh Wheelie Popper. Wheelie Popper. I actually got mine at a flea market. I almost completely forgot I even had it anyway. It was sitting in the very far back of the shelf. It works fine, but when I got it, the batteries are dead, so I had to take them off, and there it is. Here it is. I know I saw the I, I saw it at Ross as well. Ouch. Here it is. Here's the Road Rippers uh sport trailer uh Ford F one fifty. Some of you people didn't know I even had it. I actually got mine at Sabres this year for only a dot for five ninety nine. But when I first got it, it didn't need any change into the batteries. It works fine. I've been wanting it since 2015, three years after I Here's this one. This is my Road Rippers Hummer H2. I actually got mine at a Goodwill when I was at, I was at the Solar Eclipse event. I actually got this at Goodwill in a different area. Here it is. <clears throat> this one's the same recording as this one. Sorry, my camera's so bl blurry these days. And here's my, here it is, here's this one. This is my Road Rippers, uh, Top Team Comebacks Chrysler PT Cruiser. My dad's friend actually got this for me as a Christmas gift, like, maybe like 10 years ago, in 2008. He actually got it at Walmart, because I know this because they were distributed at Walmart at the time. Here's this one. It's in Glibin La Vida. Vida Loca. And I'm surprised it still works to this very day. I almost for completely forgot I even had it. This is the one I cannot do the speaker mod on because remember this one has a resistor on the switch and I'm afraid I'm gonna blow it out. This thing has not ran for 10 years at all.
get that thing out of the way. Here's this one. This is an extremely rare Little Rippers Top 10 Comeback Sportful X. I actually got this at Goodwill last year. This one marks a year since I got it. And you know what's funny? Unlike other Road Rippers that have miss Road Rippers vehicles that have missing rear view mirrors, I got lucky because I got mine with the rear view mirrors. This one was maintained really well. I'm surprised. This thing, of course, was maintained really good. Which is pretty surprising because unlike others to handle they were not they're not maintained as good. They go the their parts are missing and they just break off. The plastic is very thin, so that's how they easily break. Anyway, here's this one. This one actually this actually sings walking on sunshine. This is the one I was able to do speaker mod on. I know Xander, Top 10 Comeback Collector have this one. Um, they're, they're not as lucky because they don't have the rear view mirrors as mine. Oh, one person went. Oh, I, you told me like a time. You told me before. I, I know you kept your Ford Mustang. I know the story behind it. You kept your Ford Mustang, but when you put, whenever, uh, I forgot the story. Can you tell me the story again? How, why, why did you wish to keep it? I forgot. It's been, it's been over a year since I saw your comment. Tell me your story again. Oh. I guess he's uh, typing. I'll just wait. Oh, okay. I know yours was a Ford Mustang. I almost completely forgot you. You even told me it's been like over a year since, since we first met. So, I mean, since you first uh, joined YouTube. Let's go. Come back. Ash is ready. This is actually a song from the UK, just so you know. I think I showed my uh, PT Cruiser on, on motorized mode, I think. I don't know. We'll have to play it again. No, nope, I didn't show it. Sorry. Let's show you the side of the miniature size. Okay. Which one? Hold on one moment.
Let's see the chat. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know that's a thing. That's an issue. So you see, whenever you buy this, but then they start wearing out in the future. That's how they start aging. It's the same problem with other road rippers. Once you get them, they don't last that long. This one, this one's paint wasn't maintained as good as I thought it would. This one's like completely fading away. Anyways, here's this one. I almost not. I almost forgot. Forgot I even had it. It's been over a year since I got it. I got mine at Goodwill in 2017 last year. And it still works fine. But this is the one that got me confused. That I thought it wasn't supposed... I thought this was supposed to bounce up and down. I took it apart. And it turns out it wasn't supposed to bounce up, up and down. This is the one that does the cowboy trick. Anyways. This one's pretty bright. This one's speakers on the top. For some people, it's hard to do the second song. Anyways, it's still a rev motion. Oh, two people joined. Start commenting, second person. Oh, hi, Charlie. I like that name, Charlie. Oh, I thought it said like multiple phrases. I I almost forgot I even had it. Uh, just a second. Just adjusting the frosty. Hold on, one moment. Sorry, this is off subject. see the chats oh no problem Charlie hey Charlie are you okay talking on hangouts Google hangouts just wondering because maybe we can talk someday if you don't have hangouts that's fine I just want to know you know here's my Ford Mustang my Road Rippers uh, comeback racers Ford Mustang I got this at Goodwill Last year, as a late birthday gift, I got it. I got this as a late birthday gift. It's this is this is. Oh, okay. Like I said, this may this video may be off sh subject, but I actually got this for my birthday along with the spinning snowflake frosty. Sorry, my camera's so blur. Oh, there it is. Cool. Does yours have the big speaker or the small speaker? Just wondering. Because mine only has a small speaker. I also got... My family member has one, but I actually got... I had to repair it right now. Oh. Cool. My ha my family members have, a, have this one, but theirs has the big speaker. And it's still on the process of being repaired. I'm still going to have to go get a new... Chassis and new b components and all that so it's gonna be sitting in the box for a couple years until it can get apply for a new one Because this is in terrible condition. This is the one I actually speaker modded. 
like it anyways. I can see and I got this for my late late birthday along with the Ford Mustang and this may be off subject. I got it along with the spinning snowflake frosty. I'm sorry this may be off subject. Cool. Mine has tape on the speaker. That's why you. That's why. You. That's why. I actually put tape on the speaker because it's very loud. So it's so you may not be able to hear the sound. Anyways, this is off subject. Here's this one. Mine plays a. Uh, oh, I forgot. Forgot the name of the song. I haven't even used it. Oh, I know, I know, I know what it plays. It plays Radar Love. <laughs> haven't even used it since December. Haven't even used it since December. Oh, I know the name of the song actually. I just actually figure out the, figure out the name of the song or identify the song. <sighs> Thanks, Charlie. I almost I just I haven't even played with it since I haven't even messed with it since December. All I did was the speaker modification. I said that was another trick. Oh, I know. I cool. I noticed that the first generation Road Rippers, um. Uh, a c comeback racers have actually the the talking one. The second generation ones don't actually talk. All they do is just say. All they do is just whenever you press this, it won't talk. It would actually move. Hold on, one moment. I noticed that too. That's how you could go nine thousand. That's why vehicle guy nine thousand. Do you want to talk on Google Hangouts sometime? Just wondering because we want to. I want to, I want to get to know you better. If you don't have Hangouts, that's okay. Oh, what are the secret features? I want to know them. Actually, there's a secret feature on the Rotor's Turbo Wheelie. Oh, good. 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 We'll t maybe we can talk after the live stream. Is that okay? Press horn. Okay, but if you don't have time, then that's okay. You can just wait another day. You know, what? let's just let's just. Ow! I'm okay. Ow! I just kicked my freaking knee. Ow! Ow. Ow. Oh, that, you know, this is like Quick Drama Grad would say. Ouch, 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 ouch. That's smart. Ugh. Ah. 
in Family Guy, also, Peter falls down and hits his knee. Ah. Don't worry, guys. I'm okay. Yeah. Luckily enough, when I accidentally kicked my knee, luckily enough, my Frosty didn't fall off that fall off this mini, mini shelf or the table, whatever. Phew. Nothing fell. I'm okay. Luckily enough, Frosty didn't fall off. It could have snapped from it. Anyways, let's see the the secret. I want to try it on my my extremely rare Road Rippers Ford Flex. That thing's walking on sunshine. I want to try it out. I think I know this feature. If I do, if I don't, then it's okay. Let's see it. Press horn forward, backwards, and then at the same time. Wow! I didn't know you can do that! Holy sh... Holy smokes! Sake boo! Sake boo! That's French... Sake boo! That's French for... a uh, holy smoke! Holy smokes. That's what it means. Sacre bleu. That means holy smoke in French. I actually know a little bit of French, to be honest. Oh, one person left. <sighs> Thanks for the secret feature that told you could go 9000. It's really cool. Let's try it on the Cotton Age 2. Holy smoke. I actually discovered that. Oh, I, I already tried it. And I was, my reaction was, Sacre bleu. That means in French, holy smokes. I do have a rock and roller, Charlie. I actually have the casino cards one. I forgot I I forgot to show my mini miniature size min, mini side ones, the mini ones. I actually forgot about it, but some of them don't work anymore, and some of them don't have batteries. Batteries, I know, right? L M A. Uh, excuse the language, but still, but still, I'm lucky. It is pretty rare. I actually got this at Sabers along with the Cotton Eye Joe Dodge Ram, which is pretty cool. Oh, another another person joined. Comment. Oh, one person left. Again. Sad. This one no longer works. This one's actually completely fried. Just completely. This one doesn't have any batteries. It works. It's, it's just it doesn't have any batteries. I'm glad. Lucky. Lucky, lucky. Ten times rarer than the police motorcycle from Road Rippers. Here's this one. This is the 2016 Road Rippers Street Screamers for. I actually got mine at Target in 2016, last year. Oh, another person left. So, I guess it's me. Oh. Oh, it's you that told me to go down and I've never seen a mini canine before. Oh, good. Good. i never seen a mini canine before. That is so rare. i never seen a mini canine before. The only ones I never seen before 
Yeah, I, have, I think I have some unseen row rippers. <sighs> oh, I'm talking about the ones on YouTube. I never seen this one before. This is actually the Road Rippers Monster Truck Monster Truck Vault Buster. This one has a gear issue where he keeps like making noise a lot. I never seen a mini canine before. Tell me if you find it. That way you can make a video of it. That toy you could guy nine thousand. I never in my whole life seen it. Oh, my very first one is actually this one. This is actually an extremely rare, uh, extremely rare Road Rippers, uh, Born to be Wild motorcycle. <laughs> you crack me up. You crack me up. That Toy Vehicle Guy 9000. As Bugs Bunny would say, <laughs> what a maroon. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, murder. Wow. If you... F oh, the, the 5K. Can you send me a link on Hangouts? Or if you... Or whatever. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Here's this one. I actually got mine at... And at KB Toys recently at, at an after sale. I think I got my name either KB Toys or Toys R Us. I don't remember. I was a baby at the time. And I don't sadly don't have the two of them anymore. One's a police. No, it's not police motorcycle. One's actually the patriotic Born to be Wild motorcycle. And one of them is actually the lightning bolt one or the flaming one. But I don't have either of those two anymore. But this is my second one. And it's the same model I had as a kid. I know they made another one, but it's actually blue, yellow, and red. And it has flames. And it's from the only exclusive to Dollar General, which is pretty rare. If you ask. And no, you, you're not going to get copyrighted for playing the song Born to be Wild. You're not going to get copyrighted. It won't recognize the, the audio. Anyways... Here's this one. Oh, I almost got my camera. Lucky. Because that one is so rare. Xander used to have one, but... Charlie? Xander used to have that one a long time ago. The the no no to go. He he had it over a year ago, but the one that things I get around. His auntie was high on drugs. Uh, I, I'm not. Please don't ban me from the lecture, but but it's the truth. His Xander's auntie was high on drugs. I think and Xander's auntie actually said his rock and roller, his I get around rock and roller on fire completely or just destroyed it. Which sucks, by the way, because I'm sad to hear it's already d destroyed. I hear some of them are destroyed anyway. The ones that are destroyed completely is the extremely rare Road Rippers, Totten Comebacks, Chevrolet, HHR. The only reason why it's rare, the HHR, is because people customize them into RC vehicles. Oh, I thought Xander said his auntie. Because he told me, swear, sworn he told me that. Wow, I didn't know his cousin destroyed it. I would have to talk with Xander in private, or I have to comment him. I never knew it. Oh, my mind is so com. Is mixed up completely. It's like screwed up. Much more confusing. When uh, ooh. I don't know what's the confusing moments. This may be pop culture related, but uh, I don't know. To be honest, I'm not a Road Rippers expert. 
Well, I was before. It's just I haven't played with my road rippers in a long time. Haven't even used them since last year. It's been a long time. Cool. Anyways, here's this one. I actually got mine at Savers, and I still have it to this very day. It still works fine, but the batteries, uh, as the years, as the months went by, this one started to have battery corrosion inside, so I went inside and cleaned out the contacts. So, so basically, I put brand new batteries and it works, but right now this one's batteries are running low. I think. Girl. So you may see them dim if you see them in camera. Hold on, let me go get my charger. My phone is dying. Let's see the chats. Oh, cool. Which one did you got as a birthday gift? I didn't see, I didn't know what we which item are you talking about? I was actually getting my charger. Okay, here's this one. Here's the Road Rippers uh, Flash Rides truck. This one's batteries are dying, so this might glitch out a bit. Me? Sometimes it does glitch out. That's because the batteries are dying. But this one's batteries are in perfect condition. I don't know why. Here's this one. Here's the Mini Road Rippers helicopter. I actually got mine at Target in 2009, but I was, one day I was being so retarded, I didn't even pay attention. The batteries on mine were low, and I actually, I, one day when I was seven or six years old, I was being so retarded, I put my Road Rippers police helicopter in the, in, in my sink. In the sink of my bat in my bath in my bathroom. I actually sunk it. I put water all over it and it just like completely fried. I don't have it anymore, but this is my second one. Finally got it back. Oh, cool. Which one? The police one or the the rescue one? Cool. Oh, my first one, actually, I know what I'm talking about, I know what you're talking about, one day I was being so, I'm oh, sorry, 
One day I was being so retarded, I, I didn't even pay attention. What was I even doing at all? So I turned on the water faucet, and all of a sudden, I I sunk my Road Rippers, uh, mini Russian rescue police helicopter. I sunk it when I was like six or seven years old, and it just like completely fried. But I finally. Oh, I've never seen it before, but still. But this is my second one. I finally got it back. My first one, I got mine in Target in 2009. But this one, I in 2004. 2000, not, ah, why do I keep saying 2014? I got mine in Goodwill last year. And this one still works. The batteries were dead, so I ended up... I took it off. I took out the batteries and replaced the batteries. And it works fine. Mine's actually 2014 model. Oh, wait, let me check. No, I never heard of them before. Plus, I never even saw them in stores. I believe they were limited edition uh, collectible cars. I think. i never seen them before. Oh, cool. Which one? The helicopter one? Mine's actually 2014. Never mind. I never heard of classic Chrome ones. Oh, I did see them before. It's just I never heard of I never heard of them before. I never even saw them when saw them when they were in stores. I believe they were. Oh, those on eBay. What What are you saying? They were, which ones? The classic Chromes? They, are you saying that they? I, never mind. What do you, What do you mean they were? Oh, I think I, oh, I think, oh, I, I think I, I think I, I know what you're saying. I'm saying, I, I know what, I think I, I know what you're saying. You're saying is the, the classic crumbs were classic vehicles that were limited edition ones. Is that what you're saying or not? I'm, I'm confused. I haven't even played with my Rota Prison in a long time. Can you make it like in a full sentence saying, yes, the classic crumbs were limited edition ones. Make it into a full set sentence. That way I know what you guys are what you guys are saying. I just never heard of those before. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, now I get it. The classic chromes are limited edition, right? This is so confusing. I thought, uh, what? Well, this is much more confusing when I thought, when I thought, when I saw the patrol car at Toys R Us, the Russian rescue one that looks like this. This is much more confusing when I thought this one was at Toys R Us back then for old stock. It's just so confusing. I know, I know there was a Cadillac Bearheads on eBay. I don't know how to pronounce the, the, the sec, the, the, the second one. Right. I just don't know how to pronounce it right these days. Anyway, she's the Mini Cooper. Oh, oh good, good. Anyway, she's the Mini Cooper. I actually got mine at, at an after closeout. At an after, uh, I got mine at a closeout sale in Kmart 2017 last year, along with the Fire Chief, not the Fire Chief, but the Fire Ladder Truck, if you saw in part one, and the 2017 Rock and Roller. Cool. And along, I got it along with the. Uh, forgot. 
Which one? Oh, I got it, I got it. The Corvette one. I almost completely forgot I even had it. I did get a second one because remember, the first one, the rear view mirrors ended up falling apart. So basically, it sits. I ended up getting a new one. The batteries work fine. Anyways, here's my Road Rippers 2010 Flash Rides uh, Super Bike. It's actually called the Super Bike because it is actually reincarnated from the original Super Bike from Road Rippers 2011, I think. I don't know. I don't know the actual dates on them. This one's this one works fine. I I I have I I still have this to this very day, but I almost for completely forgot I even had it. It's been sitting in my toy bucket for years. I know, right? It's a resemblance to the to the original Superbike, which is pretty cool. I do plan on getting. It's like a miniature size one. Look, if if you had a Superbike, for an example. <coughs> It's hard trying to get the uh, the vault, vault buster out. Just crush it. Here it is. Compared to one, look. This is how big it would. Big it, it big it would be. It would like as if it would. It's big as if it would actually crush this thing. The mate, you're lucky because the major damage version is pretty uncommon, less uncommon than the Vault Buster because the this one's actually more rare. I discovered that one day on on Google Images when I was looking through the Road Rippers. I actually saw that on the Google image. I think there was one on eBay with the box. I don't know. I just haven't seen one since then. I actually got this at Goodwill last last year, along with this. Again, this may sound off topic, but I actually got this along with the 2007 Jimmy Peanuts Snow Globe. I have them, but it's broken. I actually plugged in a six volt to one point two amp adapter by accident. So basically, it's burnt out. So I'm I'm gonna try fix it someday. This one actually has a gear issue. This is how much noise it makes. Now you get it? That's the issue it has. It makes so much gear noise. It is very loud. Oh, my favorite series is the Russian Rescue ones, because they started the the collection series as a kid. They actually started. They actually started it all for me. That's why I got. The reason is why I got got into Road Rippers is because I actually saw the Road Rippers Russian Rescue vehicles. The fourteen inch ones were the ones that started the collection series all the t this whole time. Barely even used them anyway. Again, this may off this may be off subject, but just like the Jemmy fan would, he barely even used his stuff anyway too. Why are you talking about the gears? Because to me, the gears don't look fine.
I may have to go get a new mechanism and like get a replacement one. <coughs> Forgot what was I gonna show again? Oh, this one right away. I don't know. Here's this one. You know, when I was when I was thirteen, I was sh I did sh did a collection video of my flash rides. I only had like two of them, three of them at the time. But in my video, I said I used to have them, but it's lost. But one day I was looking through my toy bin, and I kn I found it sitting on the toy. What, what? I know what it looks like. I seen it before, but I never actually saw it. There's no videos of it on YouTube. Anyways, like I was saying before. Oh, anyways. So one day I was looking through my toy toy bin. It it's green. So I was looking through my toy bin, and all of a sudden I found it sitting. In the toy bin this whole time. I thought I never had it. I thought we I just like uh threw it out or something, but turns out have it. But the batteries there were no batteries inside. So I replaced the batteries and I put some brand new batteries in it and it works flawlessly. This one's pretty quiet and it's low pitched. This thing can if I was going to do a speaker mod on the tiny ones, the speakers would be destroyed by now. The board would be destroyed. Despite the volts on the speaker. So don't attempt to do a speaker mod on coin battery, coin battery real rippers ones. Only do it on double aid ones. Or the C battery ones. Because those are a lot safer to use. Anyways, here's this one. Oh, but if mine has more capacity, I just don't want to destroy the, the board. But this one, same but different capacity, I can do. Anything that runs on AA batteries, but safer. I know, but I just don't want to destroy the board. Because those little resist, those little components for the board can break easily, despite how fragile. Oh, that's good. Thanks for joining my side. Anyways, here's this one. This is an extremely rare Road Rippers rock and roller truck. I actually got mine at Sabres, like I said, along with this one. So this one actually fully works, but the batteries were dead completely. So I took took them out and replaced the batteries, and it works fine. Here it is. I actually did a speaker mod on this one already. Okay. Is there anything I showed there in part one and part two? Okay. Cool. They're pretty rare to find, but I wish you luck. I wish you good luck, man, for to find this. Anyways, let's get to a couple of childhood items. Let's just get back to the bottom where I was doing this whole scene. If I don't do the whole set by today, I'll have to do it the next. I have to do it by the next. The next time I do it, do do a live stream or tonight, because I'm tired. Anyways, here's this one. This is something that is so rare to find nowadays. This is a Road Rippers. 
Rush and Rescue 12 inch patrol car. This is actually the this is the 2008-2003 model. These are pretty hard to find now because they only sold for a couple seasons, I guess. I don't know. I haven't seen them in stores since then. I know they made a first generation one. Except the lines are the letters are skinnier. But this one actually says help dial 911. The second generation ones say emergency vehicle. And it was this one. I almost forgot mine even had a big sticker. Mine used to, but it just like completely faded away. So I ended up putting this sticker instead. I don't use mine. Uh, I don't use it a lot because I don't want the lights to go out a lot. Plus, the speaker sounds raspy. So it would. So the speakers would make scratchy noises. So I would have to go. I'm gonna go inside and clean it out tonight. Here's this one. This is a Road Rippers Russian Rescue Ambulance. Like I said, I got this at a. Uh, uh, actually, my family members got this for me in 2004 for my birthday. I didn't. I didn't want. I didn't like it at all at first because I didn't know what they were doing. But you know, you all know me as a younger guy. I was pretty destructive with it. I just like beat up, beat up the whole thing. I actually tore up the wires inside. When I was little. I didn't even take it apart, but I just like completely smashed it. I was like messing with it too much. Okay. Oh, okay. I I saw your video with the speaker mod of this one. I actually modified this one with a big speaker, and I did a speaker mod too. But the audio was so clear, surprisingly. I'm surprised. The audio was so so dang clear. I'm surprised. Anyways, here's this one. But but when I in 2017 last year, I went inside and did I did a repair video. So I went inside and fixed the wires inside. It works fine now. But I just don't want to use it at all. Anyways. Because this thing is pretty old. It's in 2003. This one's speaker sounds dead, but I have I would, you know, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to replace the speaker, especially on this one. This one's speaker is so raspy. And the lights haven't gone out ever since I fixed the wires. And yes, I did actually see the 20, 2018 model, if you're wondering. I actually did a video of it on the, on the group channel only. Here's this one, by the way. This is a Road Rippers uh, a Comeback Racers Dodge Ram. Dodge Ram, 1500 4x4. I actually got this at Goodwill last year. Oh, I thought it smelled smoke or something. Nope, nothing. Sorry. I thought my house was going to burn. Sorry. Anyways. I actually got, got this at Goodwill last year, but the batteries were running dead. So I took them out and replaced them, and it works fine. And I did a speaker mod if you're wondering. Anyways, here's this one. This one thinks free ride. And yes, this is 2012 model. 
This is as well as 2012. Well, 2000, yeah, 2012. Mine's 2013. The, the, that one, uh, the ambulance one. Here's this one, by the way. This is the Road Rippers. Uh, what's it called? The Road Rippers Comeback Racers 2016. Uh, forgot the name of the guy who would dri who drive that race car. Ah, forgot. It's been a while since I did a review. Ah, forgot. Jimmy Johnson. Yes, yes, yes. Jimmy Johnson, the Lowe's one. I actually got mine at Tractor Supply in 2016. In my review, I'm just going to warn you, this video, the video I did back in 2016 is going to be very cringy. So if you're going to watch my video of this one, I do want to warn you. Uh oh, my, my strip keeps full. There we go. So if you're going to watch my review of this one, not on the channel, but on my channel, Fernando the Vintage Collector 2000, I do want to warn you, this video would actually will make you cringe. Because I don't know what I was like doing back then. So I do want to warn you again. I do want to warn you that on my video. That they did. Uh, last year. Two years ago. The video on my channel. This would make you cringe. Anyways. Here's this one. So if you're gonna think about uh, writing hate comments on my review, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to block you. I'm gonna have to block you if you're thinking about writing a hate comment. Oh, I thought it did another trick or something. Mm -hmm. I did see a Dave, I don't know, what's the name of that car, I don't know how to pronounce it right, but I don't want to, like, just, I don't want to, like, pronounce, uh, I don't want to pronounce it wrong just because the sound, my voice sound retarded. Wait. The reverse is only short, so it's only like 3 seconds, or four, 3 to 5. This is actually 4 seconds short, why did I do that? They could have extended it just like the others, which sucks by the way. You know, I do like it, it's just... So I do like it, it's just, it sucks to say that they... they did not extend the beep for the for the reverse. It sucks, by the way. So if you want to buy it, then go right ahead. You know, I think I'm going to end the live stream for right now. Because I'm very exhausted. So I'm going to do the, all, the rest by tomorrow. So, hope you enjoy... Uh, sorry. <sighs> Voice crack. Anyways. So, anyways... Oh, thank you. So the nationwide, I know they made it the nationwide, nationwide Dave Earnhardt Jr. one. Now I know how to pronounce it right. Thanks again, the Toy Vehicle Guy 9000. Did I know they made a Dave? I keep saying Dave. Sorry. You see, this is why my voice sound retarded. Anyways, I know they made a Dale. Earnhardt Jr. one, which is also new for 2016, two, two years after it was made. Anyways, I'm going to end the live stream. Hope you enjoyed this live stream. I'm going to do the rest by tomorrow or tonight. So, hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed it, and have a good night, everyone.